Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dragon Keep here, and welcome back to another My Hero Academia What If. So, this one is What If Deku Was a Wizard? Now, this is going to be extremely creative. I mean, I say that as if the other My Hero Academia What Ifs that I've done haven't been. Uh, that's kind of stupid of me to say so. Anyways, 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 if this video get gets ten likes by the end of the month, month I will continue it to the end. But with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Now, before quirks were were made made came before the first cork user the glowing baby came the first the first wizard and he kept himself in secret until other the wizards started forming And, but sure enough, quirks then began to rise, and, and wizards decided did that it's okay if they go out, out and show their powers, because they'll just assume that it's one of the, that their powers are just quirks. Many years have passed, and and like in canon, then eighty percent percent of the population Shin has a quirk. But wizards suits are far. Far less common. I mean, in fact, out of the of everyone in the population, only point zero one percent of them are wizards. And like quirk, quirks, wizards are classified into three categories. The caster, well, no wait, the magician, which is the lowest of the, which is the lowest of the bunch. The, the magicians can only perform magic if they say the correct phrases. And and then there's the second in class, the casters. This they're sort of like the of like the magicians, but they only have to think think of it. But whereas magicians have to just say it. And then there's the biggest ones. The sorcerers. These are the most powerful. They only... The sorcerers just have to do specific movements in order to, to perform spells. And and the type of wizard depends on the type 
with, with tattoo that they were born with. Basically, birthmark. But, anyways. The magician is born... Born with the circle as a birth as a birthmark. The the caster is born with a with a star as their birthmark, and the sorcerer is born with a pentagram gram as their birthmark. And Izuku's father, Hisashi Midoriya, happens to be one of the best casters in the, in the world. World. Known, known everywhere where, as Dragon Breath. Mainly because the most, the spell that he uses the most is to breathe, is dragon's breath, basically to breathe fire. And... Once Izuku was born, Hisashi unfortunately had to go on a business trip. Which unfortunately for, for Inko and Izuku, Hisashi would not return from that. Because of a, a boat incident. But anyways, before the boat incident, Hisashi kept thinking about, about Izuku, especially since he, since Izuku was born with a pentagram, gram birthmark on his right hand. And he kept, and Hisashi kept thinking that he would, that a lot of people might try to go after Izuku. Because his father is one of the greatest casters in the world. World and he is a sorcerer, so that's gotta be a lot of shoes. That's gotta be pretty big shoes to fill. But he was so so wondering if he would also get a quirk. It, he hoped that he wouldn't because because people with both magic and quirks don't usually last long. They only make it to the 10th birthday tops before they will their magic and their quirks starts fighting each other and slowly killing them from the inside. But once 
Dooku is four years old, Ego takes him to the Quirk Doctor, finds out that he's Quirkless. And everyone starts picking on him, not only for his Quirklessness, but also because of his birthmark on his right hand. In fact, for the right hand, it got to the point where he started did to wear a glove on just his right hand to hide his birthmark because he was pretty much ashamed of it. Sorry about that. Anyways, I was saying. Inko eventually said, You know what? I'm sick of them trying. I'm sick of them. Them always hurting my baby. I'm moving. Plus, I got a new job off for the, the place, so. Yeah, I'm taking it. So. Inko and Dizuku moved to not only a new place, but a new school. Coincidentally, the same school that Tokuyami went to. Well, the same middle school. Well, not middle school at this point. Point Dizuku is eight. So, it would actually be, be elementary school. And, once Suzuku got who got rolled in for the school. The class began and the teacher said, Alrighty class, today we have a new student. Would you mind mind introducing yourself? Izuku entered the room and said, uh, Hello, my name is Izuku Midoriya. Yeah, I'm a uh, quirkless, and I used to live in blah blah blah. Another student raised his hand, and the teacher said, "Yes, let's call the student Kyle." Yes, Kyle, do you have a question? And Kyle said, uh, yeah, if you don't have a quirk, then why do you have a glove in only, on only your right hand? Izuku said, oh, um, well, uh, I might as well show you guys. He took his glove off to show his pentagram gram birthmark. Mark and said, I, I was born with the pentagram on my right hand. The teacher said, Don't worry. It'll be fine. Uh, why don't you sit right next to Tokuyami? He's the kid with the black bird head. And he, Izuku got to his seat, and Tokyam me decided, you know what? I'm gonna talk to this kid. <laughs> so, the Tokyami said, 
That's pretty interesting. Uh, sorry. That's pretty interesting. Izuku said, Oh, y y you really think so? Tokoyami said, Yeah, not a lot of... The people have their birthmark as a pentagram, let alone have it on... Well, let me rephrase that. Tokoyami said, Well, yeah, not a lot of people have a birthmark mark on their right hand, let alone that of a pentagram. Graham, uh, I'm Tokoyami Fumikage. Okay, it's nice to meet you, Izuku. Gumidoya. It's nice to meet you, Midoya. Is Izuku said, it's nice to meet you, Fumikage. Well, it's, it's nice to meet you, Tokoyami. And... At the starting of middle school... Cool. Izuku and Tokoyami became, became really great friends, and no one, one really bullied Izuku for his right, for his birthmark, so, so he lost the glove. One day, day during lunch, Izuku was eating an apple while while Tokoyami showed up the with dark shadow though it said you're never gonna guess this Medoya I found out what your what your birthmark means I was not updated the whole story. Izuku said, what, what are you talking about? And Tokoyami said, Well, I was minding my own business when I accidentally bumped into this, to this guy. Guy who dropped a book. Book. Being the nosy shadow that he is, his dark shadow decided that he was gonna read it. He showed me a pic. He showed me one page, and I started to read it. He then pulls out the book and says, "This book is about is about wizards." And I think you might be one of them. Izuku said, Come on. Come on, Tokoyami. Me, a wizard? That's impossible. Wizards don't exist. And Tokoyami said, well, there's only one way to find out. The book says... Says that people with... With your birthmark... Are sorcerers. And that they are able to... Do spells with just certain movements. So why don't we try it out? Okay, here's the first movement. If you turn your hand hand super quick, it should be able to create a fireball. That is, if you 
you believe in that? Izuku said, Okay, I'll try. He put his hand out facing, saying palm facing the ground, then quickly turned to the palm facing upward, and then boom, a fireball a ball came. Both Tokiyami and Izuku Gugu smiles. And Tokiyami said, Yes! Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Who said, and Zuku said, I really am one. I'm a wizard. And that's where I'm gonna leave it off. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, boom, sub the like button across the face. And like I said before, if this video gets 10 likes, Likes by the end of the month, I will continue it till the end. But catch you next one, guys. Laters.